Sophie Beebe's bedtime stories are available on the BBC iPlayer app. See Beebe's bedtime story. Hello, I'm Kate. Can I tell you something? I think unicorns are fabulous. They radiate rainbows, they shimmer with magic, and they are always full of joy. Or are they? In tonight's bedtime story, prepare to meet a unicorn with a bad case of the grumps. It's called Grumpy Corn, and it's written and illustrated by Sarah McIntyre. Unicorn was sitting in his special writing house. Mm, I'm going to write the most fabulous story in the world, he thought. This made him feel very pleased with himself. He already liked being a writer. But Unicorn didn't know where to begin his story. I need uh, my special fluffy pen, he said. He went and got his special fluffy pen. But he didn't know what to write. I need a cup of my special moonberry tea, he said. Then I will be able to write my story. He went and made himself a cup of his special moonberry tea. And Unicorn sat at his desk, wondering what to write in his special fancy notebook. <sighs> he sighed. I wish an idea would come knocking at my door. But Narwhal knocked instead. What are you doing, Unicorn? I'm busy writing the most fabulous story in the world, said Unicorn. Oh, wow, said Narwhal. Can I be in your story? Oh, don't be silly, said Unicorn. No one wants to read a story about Narwhal. Narwhals are very boring. There will be no Narwhals in my story. Oh, said Narwhal. He swam sadly away. Mermaid, guess what, said Narwhal. Unicorn is writing the most fabulous story in the world. Mermaid looked impressed. She swam off to visit Unicorn. Hello, Unicorn, she said. How is your story coming along? Very badly, said Unicorn. I am waiting for my moment of genius. And I do not have any cookies. My genius ideas will only come to me if I can get some cookies to eat. Mermaid had an idea. <gasps> if I bake you cookies, can I be in your story? Unicorn thought for a moment. Maybe, but only if the cookies make me feel inspired. Mermaid swam back to her submarine to bake her famous starfish cookies. Narwhal helped. He loved licking the bowl. Mermaid bought the cookies to Unicorn. Now can I be in your story? She asked. Unicorn took a bite of cookie and looked thoughtful. Mm. He ate the whole plate of cookies and kept looking thoughtful. Mm. No, said Unicorn. I'm afraid you can't be in my story. They were very good cookies, but they did not inspire me. Mermaid swam away in a huff. What's wrong, Mermaid? asked Jellyfish. Unicorn is writing the most fabulous story in the world, she sniffed. But he won't let me be in it. My cookies were not inspiring enough. Maybe I'm in it, said Jellyfish. Everyone loves Jellyfish. She wriggled with excitement and swam off to visit Unicorn. Hello, Unicorn, said Jellyfish. Have you finished your fabulous story yet? I can't wait to read it. Is there a jellyfish in it? Why don't you let me be in your story? I will be the most brave jellyfish and go into space and discover fantastic alien jellyfish and... No! howled Unicorn. 
I can't get any ideas because everyone keeps bothering me. You are all very silly and annoying, and I don't want to write this story anymore. Oh, what a grumpy corn, said Jellyfish. Unicorn threw his fluffy pen, his notebook, and his teacup into the sea. They sank down and down and drifted on the ocean currents until... <gasps> Look, said Mermaid, it's the most fabulous story in the world. <gasps> Yippee, let's read it, said Narwhal. The friends gathered around to read Unicorn's story, but Unicorn had not written a single word. Oh, poor Unicorn, said Mermaid. I wish we could help. I have an idea, said Narwhal. Once upon a time, a unicorn tried to write the most fabulous story in the world. He was visited by a world-famous baker, said Mermaid. And the bravest jellyfish in the ocean, said Jellyfish. And the cleverest narwhal in the whole universe, agreed Narwhal. A few hours later, Unicorn arrived carrying a big, flat box. I tried to write a fabulous story, he said, but I was not a very fabulous friend. But I am fabulous at ordering pizza. I bought this to say I'm sorry. That looks like very inspiring pizza, said Narwhal. And you are just in time to help us finish the most amazing, clever, fabulous, and funny story in the world. So you see, sometimes unicorns who are grumpy just need the help of their underwater friends and some pizza. And working together, unicorn, narwhal, mermaid, and jellyfish wrote the most incredible story. It's time for you to go to bed now. And maybe in the morning, you and your friends will do something amazing too. So snuggle up, close your eyes, and dream wonderful underwater dreams. Night, night. Ah, bedtime stories is the perfect way to end the day. And you can watch more celebrity readers on CBB's Bedtime Stories on BBC iPlayer.